Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna look at the merge statement. Normally the merge statement is good for insert, update, and delete. In this video, I'm only gonna show you the insert and update. Have two tables, one from like the web and another production database. We're gonna keep them in sync with this command. Okay, are you ready? Let's look at the merge function. Notice here that we have a create table called web. Now this is probably gonna come from a website and our goal is to update a production database. So this is like a working table, you know, a website, a shopping cart, if you will. So let's go ahead and create that table. Now here we're gonna do insert statements. So here you can see on this website, I have done four orders. And uh, here's the order ID, and this is a Boolean, a bid, a true or false. So let's uh, go ahead and insert those. So now that has four rows. Now our production database, you know, it's, it's got the same data structure as the web. And now what I'm going to do is I only knew about the first three rows, but I did that, you know, like maybe 30 seconds ago and, you know, they're still in false mode. You know, they haven't been shipped yet. So we're going to go ahead and do an insert on those. So now we have two sets of table. We got our web and, you know, that's kind of like a where it all starts. And we have our production, which is kind of like our production database. Let me move this up a little bit. Come on, don't be shy. And let me execute both of these at the same time. All right. Now what I've done is I have uh, taken a picture of those and then we can use this when uh, we actually execute this merge to see what happens. But notice in this for statement one, we've got all ones going down there. And this is from the web. So we knew that we shipped them. In a production environment, which is like 30 seconds, one minute behind the web, you know, they're still sitting on, hasn't been done yet. And it looks like this order number four has not even registered in the back. Maybe somebody came in and just needed some toothpaste. So, you know, got in, got out, you know, it hasn't been 30 seconds. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually execute this merge statement. Let's take a look at that. So it says merge production and I'm going to alias it as T. Now P is our production database and we're going to be using that web table and I'm going to be calling that my S. And can we call this one right here T is target, S is source. Okay, those are good names. And notice here I'm going to do a join on these two. I'm going to say t.orderID equals s.orderID, and it kind of joins these two together. Now when t.order equals s.order, that's called match. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, see here's the update command, set t has shipped equals s has shipped. So s is my, my web. I'm taking the web data and I'm putting it into production. Now when they don't match, by the target, what do we have to do? Well, we have to do an insert command. So now I'm going to insert into the target table production from our web. I'm going to get two values. So you'll see down here when we get done with this, we'll have uh, all of these set to one and we'll have one new line down here. In fact, they'll look identical. And that's the goal of this merge thing. Okay, so let's execute this and see what happens. Ready? One, two, three, bang. Okay. And now we're going to come up here and print these. I'm going to be shy and execute. And let me bring this up again. Okay. So here's the web. Here's our production database. And just as I told you, all of these ones got moved down here in the update statement. And this four was put in here by the insert statement. And that's how it is done. 